Welcome to the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. But before I get into it, I do need to take just a quick second to thank all my members. I really, really appreciate your ongoing support. I have various different tiers. If you want to support me, become a member, you're more than welcome to. The link will be down below. We have a great time. I will notify you of my schedule ahead in terms of uploading and filming. I do members only live streams. I upload videos once a week that are just for members only. Usually things like recipes or training. There are channel emojis and many more things. Whilst I appreciate that not everybody is in a position to join a membership, the ones that have joined, I really, really do appreciate it. It means the world to me that you believe in me this much as a content creator and I do my best to give back to you. On that note, now let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also a Scrum Transformation. I'm an online health fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. Uh, I'm not a doctor, nutritionist or a dietitian. And today we are going to look at a video by Sverre or Gotis, his second channel. It's a reaction somebody sent. It's a video he's somebody, sorry. You know how back in the day my, my background would fall down. If you're, all, if you're an old enough channel member, you know what I'm talking about. I have the earphones are back. I have a microphone. Hopefully the audio quality should be improved moving forward. Maybe some teething errors we'll I'll find out and edit. I can always remove this camera down here and just go with the camera on the microphone, but at least the sound should be improved. Regardless, um, this is gonna fall out because for some reason my ears are shaped weird and they don't like to keep these sort of bud things in there, but it is what it is. It's not your problem, it's my problem. We're gonna look at the video by Sverige, who does a reaction to a bodybuilding, to a bodybuilder who does a what I eat in a day. Uh, Sverige is quite known for being a raw carnivore. I guess do what you wanna do. I. I know that some foods are eaten, some I know that some animal products are eaten raw. Um, I guess maybe depending on the source you get it from, you do want to be mindful from for like parasites and stuff like that. I do follow, I wouldn't say a carnivore diet because I do eat vegetables. I do more of a keto carnivore. I just don't eat that many vegetables. I do sometimes eat vegetables. I like the taste of vegetables. I prefer to eat lower carb. I find that works best for me. I don't get as much upset stomachs in terms of like inflammation and bloating and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll see what he has to say before we get into it. Hopefully the sound and setup is good. Um, I actually just filmed all morning exercises for the phoenix rising so i'm pretty much done with that i still have to do my programming and um upload all the videos which is going to take me quite a while to edit but hopefully by the end of the week i will have a video out for the new rising for the new phoenix rising with the before and afters of the people that participated they were amazing if you haven't checked them out go and check them out on my channel on my instagram i mean i might be going to the dogs later don't know yet it might be tomorrow so i figured i'll just get a reaction in whilst i can um, because I think I'm just going to be busy tomorrow and today for the rest of the day. So do what I can. And I thought this might be quite interesting, quite fun, something a bit different. And yeah, that's, that's basically it, guys. I don't really have a, an awful say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're interested to see what I'm eating in a day, be sure to check that out. I did upload a video yesterday from what I eat in a day, as well as if you're interested to see how my training is going and how my diet is going, Stay tuned for members only videos. So if you're top tier members, once a week on Sunday, I will upload a video of my progress. I'll do some posing before and afters, uh, training progress, etc. Mainly focusing on my power lifts and just going from there. So giving you tips, tricks and all of that. If there's something you're interested in, my channel membership details are down below. I will update the names probably Wednesday. So if your name isn't in there, guys, I will update it either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on when I have some time to sit through and go through it all. Because it's, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a hassle. It requires lots of back and forth feel lookups. So yeah. But anyway, let's get into this video and see what he has to say. Hey everyone, as requested, I'm going to... I actually, I actually don't know who Ilya Golem is. Don't know the guy at all. I don't think he is an IFBB pro. Um, I've never heard of him. He could be an IFBB pro, but he definitely, I don't think he competes at the Olympia. So, don't know who he is at all. You were the so-called bodybuilder eats in a day. The Golem monster diet. Hello guys, today I will make a video of my whole day eating. And uh, my first meal is oats. Look at this. 
Are you even a bodybuilder if you don't have oats for breakfast? Oats and egg whites? That is literally the standard bodybuilding breakfast. I quite like oats and eggs. Egg white. It's nice. 300 grams. This is the same kind of mental illness as a woman who gets breast implants. <laughs> I have breast implants. <laughs> Nobody finds you attractive. You look deformed and you only do it because you're insecure. Uh, yeah, true. Kind of. I guess so. I had breast implants because I didn't like that I have small tits and I'm muscular. I think it looks better when you're muscular that you have some tits. But it's a preference, you know. Some things are acquired tastes, shall we say. <laughs> of all every morning. Okay, let's cook it. My first meal of 300. Grams of oats, my pre workout meal. Let's start again. And also for taste, I add my fruit sweetener. As you see, zero calories. Fuck, having 300 grams of oats, I couldn't sit there and eat that. He looks as stodgy as well. Is there, didn't he put any protein powder, flavor, cinnamon? I guess it's a sweetness stuff, but it's quite an unappealing bowl of oats, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I look like one big tumor. I eat peasant food, indigestible fiber. You're simply going to excrete it. This simply shows how stupid bodybuilders are. Stop eating oats. Uh, well, I guess it depends on what you're trying to do. I'm assuming, don't quote me on this, but I'm fairly sure that a lot of bodybuilders, especially guys like him, they like to supplement with insulin. When you take insulin, you do have to eat carbohydrates. It's quite important that you calculate all of that out. You can't just do something like keto or carnivore. Maybe if you're doing natural. Some people claim that you do need to eat carbohydrates in order for performance. I personally find that it makes no difference. I actually do perform better eating lower carbohydrates. Um, I am stronger. I seem to sleep better. I find dieting easier. But people have different body types. People have different requirements. And the reality is, is that if he, this guy, is, he looks like a big guy. If he's having to eat like three, four, five thousand calories a day to, to gain or to even maintain his size, eating that just in protein, in animal protein with no fats and no carbs, that's a lot of fucking food to try and sit through. It's quite hard to eat. To eat carnivore, it's quite good if you're trying to diet because you're sitting there and eating just thousands of calories of meat on its own. With no, with basically pretty much no seasoning except for from, I think you're allowed salt. It's, it's, it's quite hard. It's not an easy thing to do. Meat tastes nice when you cook it in fat or when you usually have carbohydrates with it. T to eat just meat on its own, plain meat on its own, it's, you, you, it's hard to over, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, like steaks is not, it's, it's nice. I'm not saying it's nice. It, it is a nice because it is like, don't get me wrong. I like, I like steak. I like animal protein a lot. But I wouldn't necessarily sit there and eat like 500 grams of just steak. You'd get feel, you, you feel satiated by the time it's finished, if that makes sense. <laughs> Look, it's just painful for him to eat it. It's torture, basically. Why is this guy taking such small bites? Like, he's taking the most, like, like tiny little bites. He's having, like, three... <laughs> Three flakes of oats on each spoon is crazy. Sushi. Okay. Probably some farm in, uh, garbage. Beans of sushi. That's all you can eat. And uh, I'm also visit this place to eat some salmon sushi. And it's a great search of omega 3 and 6 oils. I can already hear freely. What about the mercury poisoning and the parasite? <laughs> but no, sushi is cool. I like sushi. I don't eat it a lot because it's just hard to find good sushi places, especially around here. It's not really a thing. I think you have to go into a big city and then, I don't know, it's probably questionable. I've never had true, real, proper, authentic sushi. So the sushi I've had has been nice, but I don't know how... Um, I know that it's like to become an actual sushi chef, it's like a whole thing. So may I say sushi is nice, but I've never, I don't think I've actually ever had proper, real quality sushi. That's definitely farm salmon. Okay, this will probably be the best dish 
that has ever been in any of my videos that I review, which is great, but uh, this could really cause food poisoning simply because of how terribly the farm itself is treated with the antibiotics, what they get as food, a completely unnatural diet, which is why it's so orange and not red, of course, the flesh, and the omega threes and sixes that he wants to get out of it. No, the fat is incredibly toxic. It's not a good idea to eat it. I, d I don't know how true that is. I do know that obviously if you can eat grass fed, it is a lot better. Um, organic potentially, uh, I think organic just means that they don't, organic just means that they don't uh, medicate the animals, which you can argue is a good thing if it's not. I would say grass fed, like purely natural is the way forward. We eat a lot of grass fed produ produce He's here because Ifo's mother, she makes her own cheese. They have uh, they have eggs. They have chickens. She makes her own butter. So even like the chicken meat and stuff we do eat, that is it's all grass fat and it does taste better. Even the chicken meat is different in color. So what the chickens that she has is almost more gamey. Um, it's almost more like eating duck as opposed to like white chicken breast because of the way the animals have been reared. I don't know. In terms of like bacteria and stuff, I don't know. I'm guessing the reason, the reason they medicate them is to prevent the, the meat from potentially having bacteria and stuff and parasites in it. But maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe that's more something that happens in an environment where there is farm factory, factory farming even, and animals are just not kept in a way where it's more hygienic. But then animals, like even us, like we can, it is we can get parasites. Even for for example, with dogs and stuff like that. Now I go to the animal shelter quite a lot. Whenever we have stray dogs and cats, we always have to get treat them for parasites because it's just what happens natural. And they are like free range animals, if you like. So I would imagine that cows and stuff could, or uh, cattle, I should say. Well, maybe not actually, because game do do game get it? I don't know. I don't know actually, maybe I'm just talking complete shit here. Understandably, he wants to eat raw meat. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, he can count. Surprising. <laughs> of course, you also have the rice and. <laughs> he's kind of funny though. <laughs> I don't agree with a lot of the things he says necessarily. I think he's quite extreme, but he is quite funny. <laughs> there again, more indigestible fiber. Just pointless. And the. Uh, Fake wasabi. Four, five, six, thirty-six pieces. I will try to fill this plate two or three times with the same. Mm. Also diet coke. Mm, especially when I'm dieting. Diet drinks are my favorite. <laughs> and of course my olive oil. It is oil. great that he's promoting raw meat technically, but uh, eh. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm done. 36 pieces of sashimi, sashimi sushi, and uh, tire too. I tried the same. He's fucking putting a lot of he's putting away a lot of food, isn't he? 36 pieces of sashimi sushi, tire too. Look, man, if you want to eat the raw fish, you could also simply remove the rice. You would have way more space in your gut which means that you could eat more of it. And again, this isn't the kind of fish that you should be eating raw, but if you want to, then you would be getting way more nutrients from it and you would just be overall more healthy. But when you eat stuff like this and these so-called bodybuilders, which he isn't really. Why is he not a bodybuilder? What's Sveriges definition of a bodybuilder? Surely anybody who is willing to change their physique if in for their aesthetic goals is determined a bodybuilder no it's just a drug addict they eat so incredibly much that yeah that's kind of part and parcel of it performance enhancing drugs do happen in bodybuilding you know if that's your aesthetic goal or not that's that's up to the individual it's not for everybody of course in their 40s or latest in their 50s they get incredible gut tissues to the point where they can die from them. Uh, I don't know about that. I've never heard of a bodybuilder die from gut issues. 
from what I understand, death in bodybuilding, it's not even so much like the anabolic steroids. It's mostly things like insulin not being used proper, pro properly, growth hormone, because what happens is, is whatever you have in your body, it gets accelerated. So if you happen to have a tumor or something like that, it just grows a lot faster. Also, things like diuretics are very dangerous. Fat burners can cause heart problems. Steroids, I think they can have like they can have negative health effects, but I don't know if it's like death from just steroids is a thing. It tends to be more things like dehydrating, playing around with your insulin, your fat burner, your T3, your hormones, which your steroids are your hormones. But I don't mean necessarily like your testosterone, stuff like that. It's more other hormones, um, like your your thyroid and stuff like that. So, but I've never heard of bodybuilders die from gut issues. I think that's potentially hearsay. Uh, but again, I could be wrong. Feel free to link an article down below of somebody that is a bodybuilder that died because of gut issues. Thirty-six. Uh, Pieces of sashimi sushi tire three. Why the fuck is this guy eating so much sushi for, man? That's a lot of food. I need some soy sauce 99. He looks like he's loving it. Look at his face. He's so happy he's eating sushi. I feel bad for him. It's kind of sad. Fourth. Really deep down, he just looks like yeah. a little traumatized boy who ended up with a severe mental illness, which is why he looks like that. The last one, 108. I want to show you what kind of meat I bought in Costco. It's also New York strip steaks. Ah, you call those sirloins in the UK. A, a strip steak. Okay, it's a sirloin in English. Here are two kinds of meat. Use the prime beef and the USDA. I wouldn't be surprised if this he's going to cook even though he just ate raw meat, but that's just the conditioning nowadays. I like my, like, I don't mind tartare. I like steak tartare a lot. It's very, very nice when it's prepared properly. I like my steak pretty rare, but I do prefer to cook it because I, I do prefer the flavor of it. I don't mind carpaccio, that's nice as well. I'm pretty sure that's raw steak too. So I could eat raw steak, I just can't imagine sitting there and eating just a cut of raw steak. It's like the flavor of it is just not as nice as when it's been cooked in butter, basically. Steak and butter is like one of the best foods ever. <laughs> It's very important how much water I drink daily. Every day I drink five BPA bottles. water. It's seven and a half liter of water. Other thing that I use usually in my daily routine, it's uh, tuna steaks. It's the best night meal. But Is that canned tuna? I may be wrong. I've never seen this before, but then you're just getting a lot of heavy metals also with your tuna, so that's a bad idea. I wake up in the night, I eat maybe one or... Yeah, I keep... I personally keep tuna on hand because it's convenient for when I'm busy and I want to eat something quickly. But I wouldn't eat a lot of tin tuna. I maybe eat tin tuna like two to three times a month if even that. Again, because of the potential uh, mercury poisoning. And like, I don't know, it's just not, it's not like an actual tuna steak is nice. So I do prefer to go to the fish counters and get like a salmon. Now, granted, you could eat that uh, raw, but I do prefer to cook my fish up basically because it goes off really quickly all the all the produce here in bulgaria if you buy fresh animal produce it literally will go off within two to three days of buying it so you have to be quick with eating it as opposed to like if you go to if you go to the butchers that is if you go to the uk you can i don't know sometimes meat keeps for like two weeks in the fridge two tuna steaks then again he can get much cheap. sicker than it's this uh, Great search of proteins. And for me, the main. In a way, he looks sicker than a vegan. Jasmine rice. And I also like a discounted spaghetti and some Parmesan cheese. You know, the leg. I wonder how old this guy actually is. I was assuming late 40s, possibly 50, but. 
it depends on how much gear he uses because gear ages you like hell i was really surprised like i'm surprised always with some of the ibb pros especially the women that are like physique or bodybuilding when i find out how old they are they always look about between 20 10 to 20 years older than what they really are it's quite shocking like apparently natalia amazonka is like 28 oh by the way if she always trains in the gym that i train in in uh in but in uh, in uh sunny beach she in the summer she actually comes to Su sunny beach all the summer and she always trains in max fight so if i get to meet her i am gonna fan go hardcore and like kind of see if she wants to do a video with me like no joke i am gonna try and do that um because I, I i am in awe of her she is just such a remarkable human being but um yeah like gear does age you a lot if you look at many of the female competitors they look a lot older than what they usually are especially when they start using things like testosterone and stuff like that a lot of times bodybuilders look this is why i have to use so much botox <laughs> very aged I'm, I'm 47 really <laughs> more than vegans because of the sickness? I wouldn't be surprised if he's... It's not because of the sickness, it's because of the steroids that they use. They just age you. I don't know why that is. It's not, it's not, it's not because you're a bodybuilder. I am a bodybuilder. If a lot of people that are natural bodybuilders actually look younger. Uh, I'm, not a, I, I'm not natural. I have used performance enhancers in the past. But equally, it depends on just what you do and how much of it you take. It just ages you and I don't know why. But it does. It's, it's substance abuse. Or substance use, I should say. Way younger. That looks pretty nice, though. Very good. Uh, it doesn't even look incredibly overcooked. He knows what he needs. Lamb? Hey guys, so what's 400 grams of nice beef? beef. Looks delicious, actually. I can hear all my vegan, all my vegan followers. It's like, oh my god, all this meat. Very good meal. I had lost three pounds of beef, and now I need a little bit carbs. Uh, as I said, I eat separately proteins and carbs, but three times good. in a week, I am you didn't before some space to a little bit carbs after my meat. They have all you can eat menu for 19.95. For 20 bucks, you can eat the best quality meat. Today I had a three pounds of meat for 20 bucks. When I visit Costco. And Why would it be the best quality meat? I think he's confusing the. I think he's saying it's quality because of the fact that maybe it's like cuts, like fillets, but not necessarily grass-fed. I would imagine because you can't. You can't do deals where it's all you can eat using quality ingredients in terms of... It could be nice... It could be quality cuts of the... It could be the better cuts of animal meat. So, for example, breasts, chicken breast, as opposed to thigh meat. But quality, it probably isn't. It's not going to be like organic or free range or whichever one is the best one for the simple reason that it's just too expensive. Best tasting meat, which he thinks it is, for the best quality meat. No restaurant on earth except for some absolutely luxurious place serves good quality meat this is not one of them can't even be now we are home after brazilian restaurant and uh, i need to fill my body with carbs uh, as i said i use uh, yasmin rice and uh, two or three times daily i need to eat uh, three portions and one portion have like uh, 500 grams of rice. Did you say 500 grams of rice? That's a lot of rice to eat in a sitting. In terms of like feeling full upright, I'm sure he needs it because he's a big guy, but rather him than me. I wouldn't want to eat 500 grams of rice. And uh, it depends on day, but uh, Jesus. one kilo of rice, it's my normal daily income. Okay, if he thinks he needs carbs, then he needs carbs, whatever, but uh, why this obsession with grains? You guys have been completely brainwashed to believe that eating grains is the way to get carbs, sugar, 
even though fruit is so incredibly superior to this not only the way it works in the body but also i think that's part of the reason why is because it is slow digesting in full performance usually speaking slow digesting carbohydrates are better but it depends per people per personally i do prefer slightly faster acting carbohydrates but i don't mind uh slow acting carbohydrates i like getting a lot of my carbohydrates from vegetables for example like at the moment i'm going through a very much a carrot phase i like just to eat like a whole carrot i like the crunch i like the sweetness to fuel yourself on fruit it's you just have to eat so much of it look at freely for example for her to feel full up i mean like granted this guy is eating half a kilo of rice cooked but half a kilo of fruit you're looking at what like five apples you're not going to feel full up from five apples are you i could probably eat five apples and still want to eat another 10 and not even feel full up so simply because this stuff is incredibly hard to digest and you're just ruining your gut and uh, you're making your intestines all sticky with the gluten and it's in every grain out there contrary to popular belief not only in wheat as they say i don't know if that's true or not possible and eventually you can't absorb any nutrients anymore today i maybe eat less because i had a sushi i had also sashimi sushi in japanese restaurant and uh, maybe I will have only one portion of rice. Okay, my next meal is 300 grams of uh, pasta or spaghetti and uh, 200 grams of cheese. And uh, then I add... It's a bit, of a bit of a crap meal, to be honest. It's funny that he said that he likes spaghetti it's one of his favorite foods but what is that if you would eat it raw there's no way that you would be able to eat it so of course he adds the cheese because that's what makes him want to maybe eat it and then of course the sauce and that even more maybe covers up the horrible taste of the actual noodles and that's the only way he can swallow that garbage but that's just a typical peasant food especially for europeans brainwashed drug addicts <laughs> He's so harsh, isn't he? Just calling people peasants and drug addicts. <laughs> this wouldn't die in their 40s and 50s if they would at least leave out all of the grains and the junk that they eat. Maybe they would live to 60 and of course they would. I'm fairly sure like a lot of, aren't like Italians supposed to be really long living? Um, I don't think a lot of people, a lot of people in this day and age probably die young. Because of the fact, I mean, like they did back in the day as well. But in recent years, I think people aren't actually, what am I saying? Aren't people living longer than they have ever lived? Maybe there are certain generations where, um, in more recent generations, people are passing away younger. But I think a lot of that is just to do with fast food and people not eating, not cooking their own food anymore. But I'm fairly sure that a lot of people do live into the 80s and 90s, which didn't happen at all, like even 100 years ago. So... I don't know where he's getting it from that people are dying young. People are probably dying young because they're obese, because that's the biggest problem, and one of the biggest causes of death in the Western world. Um, and that, a lot of that comes from eating fast food and junk food and processed food. Uh, spaghetti is not my often meal, but uh, some days I change one portion of rice for spaghetti. Uh, and I think the spaghetti, the quality of spaghetti, is, is also a good source of carbs. No. From my trip to LA. <laughs> oh my god, I could not imagine training after having had all that food. Plenty of people, like a lot of people don't like training fasted. I don't like training after I've eaten. It just makes me really sluggish. I always train fasted. People are saying it shouldn't work. You shouldn't be able to burn. You'll be burning your muscle because you're training in a state where your body is catabolic, etc doesn't seem to work it's not it's never been a problem for me i've trained faster for maybe i don't know six years or something like that but imagine training that he has literally kilos of food in his stomach and he goes to train i could never i had a fall in the squat he's pretty fucking strong though so why has he got on there 20 40 60 80 100 20 he's repping 240 something like that and, 260 uh, I make a uh, crack in my bone here. Oh, and shit. Ah, that's painful. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Oh, sorry guys, I did not know this was gonna be in there. I hate, I hate lifting accidents like that. There's nothing worse than people hurting themselves like that. Oh, it's the worst. This is why you do have to be careful when you're lifting because accidents can happen. Can really not heal. Oh, it's only in his thumb. I thought he like, uh, broke his leg. Thumb isn't great, but better than breaking a leg. Really like trainings and uh, don't feel as good for now, but but you know, shit happens and... Uh, it's really kind of sad. I really think he has some kind of brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just really like, I just really think Sverre is fucking hilarious in his commentary. He's just so brutal and unkind that it's kind of funny. Like, I don't necessarily think that the guy looks like he has brain damage or that he has brain damage. I think he's just, he, he's just a foreigner. And when you're a foreigner, sometimes things get lost in translation. You're trying to find words and, you know, it is what it is, but... <laughs> we need to go forward. And my last meal is three pounds of New York strip steaks from Costco. That machine looks awesome. What is it like a really advanced uh, George Foreman on steroids? Cooking it simply destroys the nutrients, makes it more indigestible and creates carcinogens. Not that that would really do much more damage to him. <laughs> I don't, again, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm sure there are studies out there that say, I'm sure that you can overcook food and it does ruin the nutrients. There's, from what I understand, there's different ways of preparing meat that the nutrients stay in it. Um, obviously, don't eat burnt food. That's like carcinogens, but... I don't know if that's true that cooking food destroys nutrients. I think if you overcook it or if you boil it, it does, but certain ways of preparing does it more so than others. Thanks God, my last meal. The thing is, is like, I don't know where he's getting this information from. If he has a habit of quoting sources, maybe he does, very possible. I could sit here and research all of this and find studies to either prove or contradict what he's saying. But basically, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so reaction, guys, is a comment, not a commentary video. Sometimes we'll, we do the, the fun exercise of Googling and data entering, but today is just not one of those days. You don't even like it, obviously. It's on your face. Who wants to eat all day long? He did leave it pretty rare. That's nice. The thing is, he has to eat all day long to maintain his muscle mass. Um, a lot of people think, a lot of people want to build muscle, but they don't want to eat enough food. And that's the reason why a lot of people don't grow and they just get that sort of like saggy look. Especially women, they'll do really hard dieting and then they'll do a lot of training and a lot of cardio and they just end up with these bodies that aren't very full. Um, you need to rest, you need to lift heavy, you need to train properly, but you also need to eat to fuel your body. The bigger you are, the more you need to eat, unfortunately. It's very known for many bodybuilders that get up in the middle of the night to eat. I mean, like heavyweights, bigger guys like this. They'll get up in the middle of the night to eat. Uh, people will blend their food into a shake, into like almost like a soup, if you like, just to drink it because people get tired from chewing. It's not easy being muscular like this. Um, it does, just like anybody that's obese, carrying a lot of weight around, whether that's being obese or whether that's being very muscular, usually it does mean that you have to consume a lot of food to maintain the mass, usually speaking. And after steaks, I want some dessert. Cottage cheese dessert. with more fruit sweetener. I don't eat it every day, but like twice a week, I add it to my daily income and uh, it's a great source of calcium. Right. Okay, yeah, cow's milk, which is probably what it's made out of, does actually have more calcium than the milk from other animals. Consider what you're eating the whole day long, so many anti-nutrients, you're not going to get any calcium out of it anyway, because your gut is full of that stuff. It's just a big pile of absolute rotting fiber and whatnot. That's why you're not going to get any calcium out of it. And besides that, it's pasteurized, so the nutrients in the food are not actually absorbable anymore. I don't really know how this works. I have heard before 
where people are saying that the best way to eat your food is that you eat certain food groups together. I can't quite remember which diet is or what the logic is, but it's basically what it means is that when you're eating something that is, for example, fiber or high fiber, your, bo your stomach releases, releases certain types of enzymes. And when you're eating something like a protein, it releases certain types of enzymes for digestion. So you're better off eating certain foods in combination because it helps the digestion and the absorption of nutrients. But I can't remember what the combinations of foods are or whether there's actual science or whether it's kind of like... After the whole day eating, I think it's not bad. So he just did a challenge of eating as many pancakes as possible. He, he, he ate 14. Now you're definitely not getting any calcium. <laughs> Again, it's just grain sludge with anti-nutrients. <laughs> Absolute slave food, the worst. He's just so brutal. <laughs> um, it's oh. really just... Uh... 16 and a half thousand calories. Wow. I could, I could not imagine eating that. Like, I don't even eat that in a week, do I? I might do actually. I eat two and a half thousand calories a day. No, I don't eat that many calories in a week. ...completely destroying his body. But it's the life he chose. He does, of course, as I said before, at least deep down understand that he needs a lot of meat. In that sense, uh, his diet was all fine. But of course, if that's the only thing he would eat and uh, tons of raw liver, for example, and so on, then he could actually create a healthy physique and live uh, longer and healthier but he doesn't want a healthy physique though i think he's i think sveri is kind of missing the point here the guy doesn't want a healthy physique he wants to be a fucking freak it's not about whether he's healthy or he can run and he has endurance and all that he wants to be fucking freaky that's all that matters and in order to get freaky he's taking a lot of performance enhancers and he has to eat a lot of food some of which is also carbohydrates, because how, how are you going to eat 16 and a half thousand calories of protein, of animal product, with no, like little fat? I mean, like, I suppose like you can have grass-fed butter and stuff like that. But still, imagine eating 16 and a half thousand calories of eggs, fish, raw, like raw fish, raw animal products and butter, maybe a bit of honey here and there. That's insane. Like, you can't, you can't do that. I don't believe it. Like, I think even eating that, eating like 5,000 calories a day like that would be a struggle. You'd be so full up. And you could just simply not grow the size that this, to the size that this guy is. His goal is to be absolutely freakishly, monstrously large. That's the goal. The goal is not necessarily health. It's to be a freak. In, and I mean that in a possible, in the most endearing way possible, like being a freak. You know, I don't say that in a negative way at all. I mean that in the way of like, he just wants people to be like, he just wants to be the biggest guy in the room. And maybe that is a mental disorder and maybe that is insecurities. Different story altogether. But he's not building this body for health. He's building this body to be as big as possible. He would cut down on all of the drugs, of course. But uh, that's the way he wants to look and whatever. I think that they should really look deep down into themselves and realize why they are doing this to themselves because you're not doing your body a favor, you're destroying it. It's self-destructive, you have very deep issues. Anybody who watches him and wants to be like <laughs> him is severely <laughs> mentally ill. I, want, I, wonder, I wonder if he thinks that I'm mentally ill. He probably does, to be fair. In some ways, more than anybody who's vegan. And but then people can argue that they think that he's mentally ill. I mean, like, the guy stares into the sun, so there's that. He's... It is an interesting character, so whatever, who determines what mental illness is, really? A lot of that is just opinion. As I said, it's in many ways way unhealthier, actually. All right, well, something a bit different. I actually had quite a lot of fun with this, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I like him because he's unapologetically himself, which is nice on YouTube. Whether or not you agree with people, I like Freely for the same reason, and they couldn't be more opposites. People that are themselves, I like them. People that are kind of steadfast in their thoughts and opinions, I like them. Whether I agree with them or not is a different thing, as long as people are authentic. And I think he's funny because he's, uh, he's just so brutal and so crude. So I think, I, I don't mind him. I don't necessarily agree with everything he says. I don't know how much of what he says is true, whether it's propaganda, whether it's anecdotal. I don't know. 
regardless, it was fun to film this. So nice to have a little change from the normal ladies. Yes, I know that Chantal mentioned me. I saw it on Kiwi Farms. It's fine, you know. When I talk about her, she can talk about me. It's cool. Nothing. What, what do you want me to say about it, you know? It is what it is. So... I'm not butthurt by it remotely. I just hope she finds the help that she needs and she will work on bettering herself and that that's it really. So anyway, I'm gonna go, gonna edit this, eat some eggs and butter. Yes, not raw though. I'm gonna pan fry them, but eggs and butter is what I'm gonna eat and uh, get on with my day. So thanks a lot for watching. Insert a meat emoji, be rude not to. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you dislike it. Let me know down below why and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.